guys, I am Kritika Kumar and I'm currently a bachelor's student of psychology at university and I am back after a long, long time and I'm so happy to be back and um, as you can tell, I'm smiling a lot. So I am going to be discussing something that I have always wanted to discuss um, and it's something that really matters and off late we have only realized it more and more and we continue to realize it I believe so um, it's only the harder times the we get to learn a lot from the things around us and the more we learn there's better clarity I guess um, the more we look into positive perspectives in every situation we will be able to deal with them a lot better and we will be able to overcome them a lot better um so on that note i will be discussing about gratitude so gratitude is peace and peace is gratitude that's kind of a definition that i came up with and i really think uh, that it really makes sense um, in terms of, um, you know, it's an instant healer. This emotion or this feeling of gratitude really sets our head in the right path. Um, so therefore, I believe we should only always try to cherish gratitude every time when we feel like we're not ourselves or when we are in a hard phase of our lives so let's go ahead and dig in deeper I know we're all practicing gratitude on some level uh, I'm pretty sure we've all come across these hashtags that say um, super blessed never been more blessed extremely grateful and so and so right the this is amazing we are practicing gratitude on some level we are practicing it on some form uh, but Let's take it up a notch and try to think what it would mean to feel that gratitude, to really let it sink in a lot more into our heads, to really, you know, dignify the gratitude we feel. So that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about. Um, so I believe gratitude is a lifestyle, is a healer, is a bonus to acceptance and is medicine. Um, so. Uh, why do I say that it's a medicine and it's a healer? It's because it really does only good. And there are also tons of evidence because I'm pretty sure like a lot of us are thinkers, right? So to all the thinkers out there, it's great. So we want to hear the science behind every concept, right? So in terms of gratitude, there's an abundance and overwhelming amount of evidence um, to support the fact that gratitude is real and it only releases the good and happy hormones in our body and it blocks the bad hormones in our body, which means that it is also physiologically good for our body. So there are so many studies that talk about gratitude and life expectancy, um, gratitude and peace, gratitude and um, you know long-term well-being and so many other things so I feel like it's super super essential to discuss it in a broader level in terms of you know science as well because it really really matters and makes a lot of sense when we take that diversion with the science so there was this study that was conducted by Corp um, who's a neuroscientist at UCLA so credits established uh, so he basically stated that um obviously it's a fact when we feel gratitude dopamine is released in our bodies which is a happy hormone and which is um good for us be it physically or mentally um you know it makes us feel good but again when we feel gratitude the amount of dopamine that is released is solid and in the right amount so nobody's high it's all good uh, now so when dopamine is released in our bodies it blocks all the negative hormones or negative chemicals such as cortisol which is a stress hormone so it blocks them completely so what corp stated is that it is impossible to feel both the emotions at the same time for instance you know when somebody feels happy right Aren't there moments when we feel happy and sad at the same time and we coat that as, you know, feeling mixed? 
in, because there are two emotions that you're experiencing at the same time and you don't know where you fit in. Um, but in terms of gratitude, you can never feel, you know, gratitude in some other negative emotions. Or at least if you are, you know, in that situation, um, gratitude always dominates over that negative emotion. So it's always gratitude over any other emotion when gratitude is felt. Um, so um, when gratitude is felt, the dopamine hormone that is released in our bodies blocks any other hormones. So we must embrace every single thank you in our lives because it is a healing addiction. So gratitude is gold. It's the favorite part for me in this video. Uh, so I'm going to be sharing a tiny story and I really, really found it so good. Uh, it really blew my mind. Um, so I'm pretty sure you guys are going to, you know, find it interesting as well. So straight to the story. So there was a senior monk and he had a couple of students under him who were essentially practicing to be a monk sometime in their life. Now, the senior monk, he basically one day asked all of his students to recall an event in their lives where they felt like, you know, that should not have happened to them. Or basically, they had to write something down that they felt like they didn't deserve in their life. Um, so obviously, you know, there was this one student who was writing about how he had recently lost his grandmother and, you know, how he felt like he didn't deserve that. And then on the other hand, there was this other student who was writing about how he had a toxic friendship for a year straight in his high school and how he felt like he didn't deserve that. Um, so, yeah, there were several things that, you know, the students were writing about that they felt like they did not deserve in their life. Um, so obviously the time was up. Now the senior monk was collecting all the answers back from the students. Um, now he was reading all the answers out aloud, um, to the students without mentioning their names. Um, now this is the moment he asked this beautiful question and this blew my mind. So he basically asks, why did none of you talk about anything wonderful that happened in your life and you felt feel like you didn't deserve that um so yes why did none of them talk about anything happy or anything beautiful that happened to them in their lives yet they you know felt like they didn't deserve that later um so none of them had written anything like that. So on that note, whatever we have right now, um, be it you know materialistic or be it a friendship or be it a relationship or parents, um, it possibly can be a pure luxury for somebody out there. So that's exactly what he was trying to emphasize through this exercise and obviously it was new to me as well and it just like hit my you know conscience so bad so yes i really hope this was you know something that blew your mind as well so yes on that note this was all i wanted to share in terms of gratitude and i really really hope that you know we do use it in the right sense and you know we practice it every single day be it you know getting up in the morning and taking a moment before we touch our smartphones um to sit back and you know have the silence um you know have the silent uh, moment to realize the good things that we have in our lives and thank god for waking up um and then one other thing that we can do is journaling, right? So obviously, I'm sure we're all used to, you know, journaling every single day. I'm not talking about the regular journaling where we state every single thing that we had experienced. Um, not that kind of journaling, 
uh, this is where you kind of go ahead and you know talk about all the things that you feel grateful for so and you don't necessarily have to pressurize yourself in terms of time you can just like state bullets um, for instance you can say about how you got a seat in the subway or how you made a friend at school in a in a, one of your clubs or how you were able to you know enjoy the food that you had today and you're grateful for that so establishing gratefulness in every single thing we do can really make us only feel better never bad um so yes thank you so so much and i really hope that you guys found it interesting and if you stayed with this far it really really means a lot to me thank you so much have a very good day bye bye